I've, I've been seeing a lot of things talking of the people making commentary. Um, interestingly enough, the ones I've noticed that have been making the commentary are wealthy black people making the commentary about we should not be um, rioting, we should not be looting, we should not be tearing up our own communities. And then there's been an argument of the other side of we should be hitting them in the pocket. We should be focusing on the blackout days where we don't spend money. Um, but, you know, I feel like we should do both. And I feel like I support both. And I'll tell you why I support both. I support both because there, when you have a civil unrest like this, there are three types of people in the streets. There are the protesters, there are the rioters, and there are the looters. The protesters are there because they actually care about what is happening in the community. They want to raise their voices and they are there strictly to protest. You have the rioters who are angry, who are anarchists, who really just want to fuck shit up. And that's what they're going to do regardless. And then you have the looters. And the looters almost exclusively are just there to do that, to loot. Now, people are like, well, what did you gain? Well, what did you get from looting? I think that as long as we're focusing on the what, we're not focusing on the why. And that's my issue with that. As long as we're focusing on what they're doing, we're not focusing on why they're doing. And some people are like, well, those aren't people who are legitimately angry about what's happening. Those are people who just want to get stuff. Okay, well then let's go with that. Let's say that's what it is. Let's ask ourselves why in this country in 2020, the financial gap between poor blacks and the rest of the world is at such a distance that people feel like their only hope and only opportunity to get some of the things that we flaunt and flash in front of them all the time is to walk through a broken glass window and get it. That they are so hopeless that getting that necklace, getting that TV, getting that change, getting that bed, getting that phone, whatever it is that they're going to get is that in in that moment when the riots happen and if they present an opportunity of looting, that's their only opportunity to get it. We need to be questioning that why. Why are people that poor? Why are people that broke? Why are people that that food insecure, that clothing insecure, that they feel like they're only shot, that they are shooting their shot? by walking through a broken glass window to get what they need. And then people want to talk about, well, there's plenty of people who pulled themselves up by their bootstraps and got it on their own. Why can't they do that? Let me explain to you something about economics in America. And I'm so glad that as a child, I got an opportunity to spend time at PUSH where they taught me this, is that we must never forget that economics was the reason that Black people were brought to this country. We came to do the agricultural work in the South and the textile work in the North. Do you understand that? That's what we came to do. We came to do the agricultural work in the South and the textile work in the North. Now, if I right now, if I right now decided that I wanted to play Monopoly with you and for 400 rounds of playing Monopoly, I didn't allow you to have any money. I didn't allow you to have anything on the board. I didn't allow for you to have anything. And then we played another 50 rounds of Monopoly and everything that you gained and you earned while you were playing that round of Monopoly was taken from you. That was Tulsa. That was Rosewood. There are pla those are places where we built black economic wealth, where we were self-sufficient, where we owned our stores, where we owned our property and they burned them to the ground. So that's 450 years. So for 400 rounds of Monopoly, you don't get to play at all. Not only do you not get to play, you have to play on the behalf of the person that you're playing against. You have to play and make money and earn wealth for them, and then you have to turn it over to them. So then for 50 years, you finally get a little bit and you're allowed to play. And every time that they don't like the way that you're playing or that you're catching up or that you're doing something to be self-sufficient, they burn your game. They burn your cards. They burn your monopoly money. And then finally at the release and the onset of that, they allow you to play and they say, okay, now you catch up. Now at this point, the only way you're going to catch up in the game is if the person shares the wealth, correct? But what if every time you share the wealth, then there's psychological warfare against you to say, oh, you're an equal opportunity higher. So if I played 400 rounds of Monopoly with you and I had to play and give you every dime that I made and then for 50 years, every time that I played, I, if you didn't like what I did, you got to burn it like they did in Tulsa and like they did in Rosewood. How can you win? How can you win? Mm. You 
can't win. The game is fixed. So when they say, why do you burn down the community? Why do you burn down your own neighborhood? It's not ours. We don't own anything. We don't own anything. There is, Trevor Noah said it so beautifully last night. There's a social contract that we all have that if you steal or if I steal, then the person who is the authority comes in and they fix the situation. But the person who fixes the situation is killing us. So the social contract is broken. And if the social contract is broken, why the fuck do I give a shit about burning the fucking football hall of fame, about burning a fucking target? You broke the contract when you killed us in the streets and didn't give a fuck. You broke the contract when for 400 years we played your game and built your wealth. You broke the contract when we built our wealth again on our own by our bootstraps in Tulsa and you dropped bombs on us. When we built it in Rosewood and you came in and you slaughtered us. You broke the contract, so fuck your target. Fuck your Hall of Fame. As far as I'm concerned, they could burn this bitch to the ground. And it still wouldn't be enough. And they are lucky that what black people are looking for is equality and not revenge. Mm. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Much. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, Ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. welcome to another episode of Mask Off. This is episode eight, Focus on the Why. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Kimberly Latrice Jones. Yeah, very, yeah, we very powerful, powerful words. It gave yeah. me chills in my body, man, just to yeah. hear that, man, because it speaks to, I believe, what everybody is saying. It's, it's resonated, you know, in my spirit, man, what she's saying, bro. And that's yeah, that's real talk. Yeah, we don't even need need to do the show now. I mean, that pretty much said everything I wanted <laughs> to say. It. So, that's right. it. All right, and broadcast. Yeah. No, we here. We're gonna give it what we get. <laughs> Episode eight, focus on the why. First of all, this is Big Tone signing in. I want to give a shout out to the homies. What's up, Jake? Up under me. What's up, baby? What's up, man? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Uh had a good day today and shit, you know. You feel me? That's what's up. That's what's up. How was the week? Oh, the week was the week was week was cool. Week was uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh you know what I'm saying? I got outside a little bit more, you know, walking, stuff like that. Um, still motherfuckers out there that don't understand social distancing, you know. So, uh, but, you know, it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry, Malachi. Yeah, I won't talk about you, but, like. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of people trying to, you had a lot of people trying to get in your face. Oh, yeah, all the time, man. Especially white people are always trying to get in my face. Like, just getting close. I'm like, bro, like, bro, like, back the fuck up. Like, stop. Like, you know what I'm saying? Brave new world. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, uh, but um, you know, it was cool. I, weird thing. I had a court date. I had a virtual court date today. It was weird. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they like it. up in the quarantine. <laughs> I had a court date today, man. Uh, ticket I got in Highland Park and shit, and um, they did they, they, I had to um, lock, I had to do a zoom, a zoom, a zoom uh, court, <laughs> everything. And it was hey, uh, it I would have forgot my law again. Like, <laughs> no, Yo. I I can't forget the law again. I'll fuck around and they'll forget to give me a pee in traffic, and I'll get fucking uh points on my license and shit. Can't do all that shit. All right. But yeah, I dig it. I dig it. I'm gonna move on. Dan, my man, yeah. how you feeling, baby? How was the week? I'm good. Nah, I mean th this whole week, I was I was scared that you know that I I got sick that I, I picked it up. It's a long story, but I. Oh, but, oh, but, oh whoa, 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 whoa! But, 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 but the, the test came back fine. We're, we're good. Ooh, All right. <laughs> so, well, you know, I took my test. I'm, I'm oh, legit, man. baby. So, I'm legit. so wait. So you took the test, and then you just got scared, or you had symptoms, then took the test? No, I took I, I took the test for like work, and then I got scared. But 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 they but, but then like I started to like feel like a sore a sore throat and I was like uh, I don't know what this is. You said after the test? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mostly you just know what like, I mean. <laughs> that test had a little bit. Of <laughs> 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 oh, 
no, 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 don't say that. No, no. the test okay. came back. Exposure. Okay. I'm good. The test had exposure. No, 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 guys. I, I, I just got past this. Please don't put hey, that back was, in my head. Okay, right, 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 right. Until he took the right. test. <laughs> 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 He'd be good all quarantine until he take the test. Like, I know, man. Yeah, right? How about I, that? I, I right love there? the house. Let's bring up on this uh, thing. No ooh <laughs> No, no ooh up in here, baby. No ooh My it's man so Malachi, what's the deal? What up, though? Uh, man, it's Malachi Lee. I'm in the place to be, man. My week was good. Uh, actually, Saturday, I ended up speaking at, at this rally. Um, shout out to uh, Sasha Joel, man. She one of my, one of my good friends. She put a rally on in Redford and uh, she asked me to ask me to speak. So I, I wrote a piece for it and uh, ended up speaking. It um, It was a, it was an amazing experience, man. It was to my surprise. It was a predominantly white event. Um, I was expecting it to be a bunch of my people there. So uh, it was a different story when I got there and uh, to do my piece in front of them was a whole different ball game as well. Uh, what, Different than what I expected, uh, but it was it was powerful for me. That was, that was the first time that I, that I really saw like, because I used to I used to I'm, I've never choked as far as performing. Like I've never like slipped up like uh uh you know. And I and honestly I couldn't relate to that until I performed this. I really got choked up, um, and really got got emotional with it, uh, because it was it was that heavy. Then looking at everybody, and it was like man, they, they all white. They they about to feel what I feel for a minute. And um, even after I got done. Uh, I had at least three people, three older white people tell me that, that they felt they they were able to feel our pain by hearing my piece. And I was like, wow. So it was that was very moving for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll speak art. on everybody. I'm glad that you were able to express yourself artistically and um, just be able to convey a message, man, that people need to hear, man. So I'm glad you was able to get that done. Um, as far as my week, my week, um, I've been kind of I'm getting anxiety about going back out on these streets, man. You know, you know, uh, I really don't. I'm gonna be honest. I really don't want this to change right now. I think, okay. uh, I think this is too much too soon. You know okay. what I'm saying? It, it's like overnight she she pressing the um the on button, and I'm not really feeling that right now. You know what I'm saying? Because of the fact that uh, yeah, okay, we dealing with this uh, social injustice issue. And I think a lot of people have uh, taken it and um, looked at that Corona thing and just put it out the window. But um, I, I really feel like, you know, we need to take five more steps back before we head back into uh, what used to be the normalcy. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But that's my week. That's how I feel. Uh, We're going to go right into uh, my young boy and his uh, motivational minute, Malachi. Give it to him. What it do, people? Uh, so yeah, today is motivational minute. I'm actually you could just gonna wrap to y'all for a little quick second. I want to talk about responsibility. Um, responsibility is a term that's often lightly used. You know what I'm saying? Um, but responsibility is really that ability to respond to what you need to do. You know, so we all have tasks in life. We all have things that that we need to get done. And I'm talking to myself as well. So. You know, we all we are here with it. Um, we all have things that, that we need to get done. And you have to respond to that ability for you to do so in order to get it done. And that's the only that's the only way you can really move forward and to really get stuff done and, and advance yourself as a person overall. You know, you have to respond. Everything that's on your plate, everything that you that you have the ability to do, you have to respond to that ability. And and that about ability, we all, we always don't know our full ability. You know, what I'm saying we don't always know our full capacity. And how much we really can take and how much we really can do and accomplish and achieve, you know, so you really want to keep pushing yourself to the limit so you can respond to more, respond to even more ability that you are doing to make you more responsible. And that's your motivational minute. It's Malachi Lee. That's dope. Hey, right, Dan, was that a minute? No, it wasn't. He's a little sloppy. He's a little sloppy. Uh, <laughs> over. I already knew it was. Like, like, like 115, uh, 120. I was close. I was close. Uh, you had you had a good range, too. You was going real good. Thank you. Know? you. But, uh, <laughs> we'll get it together. We'll get it together. You know, so now I'm not the uh, motivational minute is over. I want yeah. to get into uh, uh, a little segment. Time. You know, uh, you know, everybody don't want to do the uh, Tony's expensive tech, but I want to talk about some things that I saw on YouTube 
that was kind of um with, with with everything that's going on, it kind of it kind of um brought a brought a tear to my eye. One of the things that brought a tear to my eye in a positive way was uh the uh protesters over in England and and how they were supporting the all black matters uh black matter protest and and one of the things that they, they were doing was taking slave traders statues mm. and dumping them babies in the lake. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's time to go, boo. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? And a lot of yes, look at that. Hands up, a beautiful <laughs> thing. Right. Because to me, what I think that does is symbolizes how we are not going to be oppressed mm-hmm. by the oppressors. You know what I mean? And a lot of people don't follow the history of history. A lot of them slave trainers and those slave owners came from European descent. They yep. came from Europe. You know yep. what I mean? It started over that way. So, mm-hmm. you know, I can't necessarily pinpoint and say slavery was established over in Europe, but it's good to see they benefited a lot from slavery. These fools took over everything, Africa, uh, everything, everything. Yeah. So yeah. I was very, very happy to see uh, them uh, hit the water. Also, yeah, yeah, things things like that mean something, you know. Like, like that, there's there's like some folks that I think it's just like a like it's just one statue that's that's just there. But it's like it, it's the, it's the fact that it's still there. Like like not not just inside the UK, but like back here in the states, like in the south, oh, like a bunch of those statues of, of the people from the Confederacy. It's it's like. It's it's just a small sign that you just constantly see saying like yeah this 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 was still there and we still low key respect this <laughs> and it's fucked up. Yeah. Um. Another thing too. Um. We saw we witnessed this this uh couple weeks how they was talking about the Confederate flags. They wanted to get rid of the Confederate flags in the South and get rid of these uh statues that that uh invoke hate. You know what I'm saying? And a little more of the Confederate uh, members of the Confederacy. So I, I am elated about that. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing I never really understood was the fact that why are you even celebrating when y'all lost? <laughs> you know what I mean? How you celebrate a loser? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just don't get that. You know what I mean? It, I, it, I it never it never made sense sense to me. Plus, it, it's like the, the, the same folks that could complain about take take and the knee that like with the flag and all that stuff. Support that flag too. Like those, those are the exact same thing. Like, how can you not see that? Yeah. What what's your take, Jakey? On this flag bullshit, man. Yeah, bro. Man, it should have been took that shit down. Like, I don't know why, like. I don't understand what they what they can't see why why they can't see that having that flag is wrong. It, it symbolizes racism. It symbolizes slavery. It symbolizes everything wrong with this fucking country. It symbolizes like the, the shit that like, that shit really hasn't changed in this country. Like why is that flag still up? Why is the KKK still around? It's just a bunch of like like I don't understand. I just I don't, I don't be knowing about motherfuckers, man. I really don't. <laughs> I just don't. Um. Actually, um, uh, for all my wrestling fans out there, Stone Cold Steve Austin, he actually went in on some uh, chick online <laughs> about the Confederate flag, and Real it was fucking, it was fucking hilarious. And like when I read his comment, it was like I like I, I just imagined him in the Stone Cold voice, like going <laughs> going in on her. Like he was, I can't I can't remember verbatim what he said, but like. The chick was saying, like, uh, you know, the flag represents like history and Southern pride or something. And Stone Cold says, like, uh, he was like, um, he was like, what did he say? He's like, you're, uh, he's like, he said, you're stupid. He's like, your stupid little flag represents, you know, slavery and oppression to black people. So your, your stupid little history and your stupid little Southern pride don't mean shit in the eyes of the rattlesnake. And that's the bottom line. Yeah. Here's a little fact. Here's yeah, a little fact, too. It was a, it was some um some older white women who helped create a lot of those monuments down in the South after the Civil War were, uh, was won by the North in order to uh, keep the tradition of uh, 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 
slavery and white supremacy going, they felt like they needed to honor those guys who lost. Hmm. Malachi, your thoughts before we move on? Yeah, I mean, I agree with Jake. You know what I'm saying? They should have they should have been took it down. And the fact that they they trying to make a big row about it. It's like, come on now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all had your turn. Y'all had your time. Let's 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 make some changes. It's okay. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? We gotta we gotta change this. You know what I'm saying? So they I don't think they should be tripping about it, you know. There's there's um, there's a there's a good book that I I just bought that I, I that that I'm about to read is um it's called like how the South really want the war or like how the South want the war, and mm. it makes a lot of sense <laughs> like, like, like just just from just from, from that and like just from, from from the brief description there it's like yeah the, the it's like okay they lost they officially lost the the, the civil war but but everything since then it's like we've constantly like gave them the stuff that they wanted so yeah i, I, I let you guys know how that why. is i don't really understand that like i've never known anything anywhere where the loser uh he he really much still get to shine you know what i'm saying like i know in basketball you know what i mean they do this with children and i don't know why i don't know why they do this where they are they give you a uh, participation trophy no when i was growing up it's either you win or you lose. The South lost. Let's just put it like that. And you know what I mean? Yeah. And you know, unfortunately, that's that's what has happened. And, you know, and, and it's just been a part of, of our stain in America. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I am not sure where Malachi went. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah, I don't know. I hope he's okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's uh, up, brothers? Uh, Oh no. Oh, uh, <laughs> I see voices and I hear the fuck. All right, hey. hey Have y'all uh, missed me, you, brothers? Um, no, uh, I'm brother. saying, brother. I'm back, hey, how I'm you back doing? in excuse me, excuse me, silence. I'm back in full effect like I never left. What I'm are you sure doing? wondering where I've been. <laughs> no, we haven't. We uh, we, we have having some great shows without you. Yeah. Yeah. Too, brother, to tell you the silence truth. again. I'm sure y'all wondering where I've been, but I've been out protesting like a black man should. See, I ain't seen none of you simple-minded brothers out there, and that's the problem. Uh, oh, here, we go, here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh here I go. You're right. Here I go nigga, right down to these protests. Don't try to shame me, nigga. Fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, that's oh. how you feel, brother? You don't want to be shamed? See, see, that's the problem with you brothers. Don't want to be shamed about not being down at the protest. We all need your protest. How can you rest if you ain't protest? We we can all protest inside of the ways that work best for us. Like each person has their own role, conspiracy brother. Like we're all in the same fight. You know what I hear when I hear that? I'm soft. I can't. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, well, well, that's it for conspiracy brother. Strong okay. Brothers. That's it. That's it for conspiracy, bro. We 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 done with that, man. But I want to move on to uh my man Jake. You know what I'm saying? Let's go, man. Let's get into it. What's your thoughts, baby? Oh, what up? Uh, yeah, I want to talk about the uh <clears throat> dive a little more into the uh, dive a little more into the Kimberly Detrice Jones video. Shout out to her once again. But like shout uh, out. Yeah, but like Tone was saying earlier, man. Like um. That gave me chills. Like when I when I saw that video earlier this week, and I was, I was up like like I started I started crying when I uh, saw that shit. It was like because is that real? And is that power? Everything she said was powerful and it was true. And the main thing that stuck out for me from that that video was she said we we focus too much on the what instead of the why, and that's absolutely true because we are quick to like judge people and throw them under the bus and all the and things like that in every aspect of life and not even think about why they did why they did what they did or why they're that way <clears throat> why they're doing these things and that's pretty much like how you gotta look when you talk like when when it comes to like the that's how you gotta like look at things especially when it comes to the black experience and like understanding our plight man like we're not just out here just like like, 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 
they looking at us like, oh, we like being ghetto. We like being poor. We like uh, like like selling dope. We like shooting each other and all this other shit, like all this negative shit. And they don't understand like the reason why is because they these things were put here put yep. here for us to destroy ourselves. It was put here for us to like not be here. It's pretty much genocide. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like they want us to kill. They want us to kill ourselves. That's why. And so many people refuse to look at that, especially like, um, like, like the, the pri- uh, privileged uh, wh- uh, white, like uh, racist people or, or privileged white people that don't, that, that just don't just choose not to understand. You know what I'm saying? So, that 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 video just like she she couldn't have like I don't think she couldn't have, like explained it any better you know what I'm saying like right. um it was just like because we do need to look at that we we do need to like with like why are dr- like why are drugs in our community because mm-hmm. <laughs> the fucking government put them there why is there so much violence in the black community amongst blacks because of systematic oppression you want us to kill each other where are we getting these guns from <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like one, I used to listen to um, like one of my favorite movies of all time, Boys in the Hood, and one of my my favorite scene is the part when Furious Styles, played by Lawrence Fishburne, is breaking down gentrification, um, to uh to uh Trey to Trey and Ricky talking about like um, <clears throat> talking about like how did the uh, drugs get here? Like black people ain't flying no shit, flying that shit in here. Why is there a gun store, liquor store in every corner? You don't see that shit in the white communities. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what I'm saying? Why you see, you look on TV, you see black, you see brothers pushing the rock, selling the rock, smoking the rock. You, you know what I'm saying? But it's never a problem until, you know what I'm saying, guess what? It gets to the white communities and shit like that. So it's just shit like it's like people need to wake up. They really need to fucking wake up. And like if this shit ain't waking you up, like I don't know if it's hope for your ass, real talk. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So um that's 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 that's, 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 like you know what i'm saying like i like like that was probably like once again shout out to kimberly the tree zone that was that was like like damn yeah (laughs) i agree with you i I agree with you wholeheartedly man because if you start thinking about like our our disposition here in america and i can't necessarily speak for the uk or africa but when you start thinking about our disposition here in America and how we have been the guinea pigs mm-hmm. to white America. We have been the slaves to white America. We have been the teachers of a, a, a whole race to America. You know what I'm saying? We have been the inventors. We have been everything that you could think of. Entertainers. To help keep, you know what I mean? The entertainers. You know what I'm saying? We have been everything to this country, but yet we treat it like nothing. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And you know, a lot of people say they, they want to go to they want to go to Martin Luther King and how Martin Luther King he fought for us to be free. Well, freedom don't look the way it looked today. You know what I mean? It, you know what I mean? Freedom, I, I don't necessarily look at us as being free. We just a remix of what our ancestors was going through. But um, I want to I want to head to the comments. Uh, so anybody got anything going on in the comments? Malachi, hit me up. Yeah, I got. What they I talking got about? I got D Cool Milk. You ever drive a go kart? Uh, I I have. I like driving go karts. What about y'all? Malachi, I don't. I don't. I have no. I have no idea what that's got to do with it. I'm sorry. I, I, I want, to, want to respond to our friend here. Uh, <laughs> okay. He said he liked the bird on my dresser, and he asked, "Was it for sale?" Um, yeah. Got the, got okay. The fan club. I told, I told him it wasn't. Uh, All right. So, what's what's going on in there on the chat, uh, Jake? <laughs> yeah, on, here on Facebook chat, we got uh, we got Mabel Woodward say hello. What up, though? Uh, what JJ, up, that's my dukes. That's my, my Duke. mom. What's up, my dukes? My, hey. my my dukes always showing love. We appreciate you. Uh, JJ Ward yeah, said, "What you. up?" Patty Patty said, "What up?" Sean McGettigan in the comments, uh, always representing. What always up, talking, that, talking that shit. What up, Sean? Jennifer Sosha. What up, though? Uh, actually, uh, shout out to Jen Sosha and her husband, Mitch Sosha, who uh actually um uh, did some uh who actually um made some shirts um uh, made uh fuck made some shirts and and like uh for like. 
uh, for like supporting like black liberation. Some shirts that say uh, support black lives, black liberation, and um, and sh- black uh, reparations. Black, black, mm-hmm. black, black reparations. reparations. And um, you know what I'm saying? And all the proceeds to their uh, all the proceeds for those shirts are going to the uh, Detroit uh, 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 fucking just why, why, why am I losing words? Fuck. It's going to a good cause though, but shout out to them. Shit. And also uh, uh, Katie Jones saying uh oh, what up though she said yes conspiracy brother she's ha- very happy to see uh see you conspiracy uh, brother. don't encourage him <laughs> don't encourage him <laughs> but um yeah that's all i got a comment so far that's what's up the, uh, um, that's what's up that's what's up man um hey jake i want to um talk a little bit further about what they mean by this police defunding situation and uh maybe you and malachi can give me some insight because um i'm a little stumble about what that looks like jake so pretty much um like you don't you don't know what the what the fund of police means pretty much like taking away take away the funds from police department that the like pretty much breaking down a budget and kind of like taking a little uh power away because a lot of them funds could like go to like different things for the community like um like ever since the national attempt ever since uh ever since like the shit been going down for uh, in minneapolis they uh started like a um like a defund like a defund the police uh rally and it got national attention it's like uh making people like to uh people are rethinking like uh law enforcement like in their communities like um like a lot of people, they want uh, they proposing like to abolish or defund police departments, which could have portions of the police budget go towards like services in the community, such as uh, more social workers, drug counseling, mental health, and uh, mental health care and uh, community organizations and stuff like that. Um, so, and actually, I'm reading off a of paper because I uh, I wanted to write this down because it's interesting information. But there's a uh, this uh. This young, this lady named Charlene Carruthers, she's part of the uh, Movement for Black Lives organization. She has an argument saying that police departments have a historic, have historical roots in systematic racism, such as enforcing Jim Crow laws or serving as slave catchers. Because of these roots, the entire institution of policing in the U.S. is deeply flawed. She believes that uh, uh, abolishing the police uh, by shifting their power, money, and decision making to the community is the only viable option. So yeah, that was, that I was think I, I, before before I get to Malachi, I want to say I think I never really even thought about defunding the police till the subject matter came up. Right. To be honest with you, because when you think about law and order, you think about we need the police to keep law and order. But then I start I start really looking to like what other countries do. Like in the UK, they don't even have they don't really they have police, but they don't have guns. You know what I'm saying? So that's a what amendment is that? That's the Second Amendment to bear guns. Maybe that's a conversation that need to be had too, because you know what I'm saying there's if, if people don't have these guns, we won't see a lot of these murders being committed unless they're using like uh, knives and sticks and stuff. But either way it goes, it's a fair one. You're getting a fair one off. You know what I mean? You know what I'm yeah. saying? But anyway, yeah. besides that, my point is this: at the end of the day, they need to put those monies back into the community. A community p- policing, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, they need to go back to having the block, the block captains more effective in the communities. You know what I'm saying? So the neighborhood community person works closer with the community. You know what I'm saying? You have police working to be in a community. You got police that live in that community, work that community, that live and look the same color as the people that they're servicing. So you have a better understanding of going on to that community. I think just some of the things that should happen. Malachi, your thoughts, my brother. Yeah. <clears throat> so I definitely agree with 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 all uh, Jake what Jake laid out as far as um these other other things, the other subject matters that that the money could go to. I totally agree with that. Um, but I, my personal opinion, I'm, I'm gonna give a little backstory. I was at um heard this video that 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 um that that's what they want to do. They want to defund the police so that they can bring the military in at that point. Um, and that'll be, that'll be the order set is the, is the military. They're, they're, they'll, they'll be ones that enforce the laws and stuff like that. 
So if, if that's the case, I don't know if that's true. I'm just saying what I heard. But if that's the case, I would rather it be a balance to where, yes, they definitely can take a lot of that funding and put it and funnel it into those things that Jake mentioned, because those things are necessary. If you have a a, 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 a therapist, a counselor, somebody just to talk to, a lot of these crimes wouldn't happen because a lot of these crimes that do happen, people don't even know why they're doing it. They just got bottled up energy, bottled up emotion that they need to do something with. They don't they don't have a creative way to do it or a, or a way that's positive. And so they do it in these in these violent acts and anything they can put their hands to do. They put they spread their energy towards when that thing is not positive. So if, if you have funds that they created positive outlets and positive um, help, you know, what I'm saying that uh, that's what we really need. Like that mental that, men, that mind is a whole whole terrible thing to waste, you know. So if we have money towards that, that'd be a great help. Yeah. Um, well, 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 first to your point, I, I, yeah, there's, there's, there's like laws that like protect against like us bringing it in and like our own, I don't know, arms to, to like, like to replace the cops, but, uh, to, to, to like Tony point, um, like when I first heard, heard the, 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 the concept too, it, 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 yeah, it shocked me. And then, but then I started to think about it and it's like, what exactly do you need a police cop for like like just, just just what do you need a cop for like like do let's just say that there's some there's something ha happened at your house and you, you you got some type of dispute there and, and then you call 911 like who do you need 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 to come there like you need maybe like a per person to keep keep it safe so maybe one half one half of a cop but but then like you you, you need like a you need like a Dispute counselor that there too to like to like to calm things things down mm. when when like you get like 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 when like you get a get hit inside a car crash like do you need a po police there no you just you just need a guy that can that can uh write up the the, the whole car car report I guess so, right. so like there are multiple sense. jobs that you you can use for the funds that don't involve having a cop there. I mean, but that that can still be a part of the the department, but it's just right. not. They're all just not cops. You, so you you know what I just thought about? I just thought about how when they show views of a cop in a small town, right? It's just Sheriff Charles or uh, Sheriff Walker. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? that's what they go to. You know what I mean? And somehow. The stuff gets done when Sheriff Jacob is there. You know what I mean? I'm just using Jacob. I'm not calling you Jake. Like, like, <laughs> cops, nothing like that. But I just use that name. You know what I'm saying? Jake. Sheriff Sheriff Jake is there. Everything's going to be all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> In those cases, bro, you never hear about bandits. In, you know, I'm, I'm just speaking fiction. But you never hear about how it's a lot of turmoil that takes place. Maybe we need to incorporate that. And while they was talking about the funding in uh, uh, Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota, did anybody at them shaming the mayor? He did a walk of shame. Wow. Wow. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. That was, I thought I was, was watching insane. Game of Thrones, bro. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought because I heard his initial speech and he was with us. You know what I'm saying? He was like, this should never happen. I'm like, yeah. And then <laughs> you see my man walking through and they about to, if they, they wanted to jump, I'm surprised he didn't get jumped, honestly. Like, I don't, I don't know if you out, had man. a, I don't know if you got the footage, but it was a lady that asked nah, him, so what are you going to do about the police here? Are you going to defund the police? So he goes, well, I can't do that. The lady, they went, boom! Get out of here! No, she get said, out get out of here. She said, get the fuck up out of here. Oh, she said, get the fuck out of here? She said, get the fuck up out of here. That's, that's what she said. Wow. 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 I, I didn't hear none of that part. I don't have it, that, but I do have them doing the little dance. No, wow. this, <laughs> oh, this is brutal. <laughs> Mr. Who invited him to the, to the reunion? <laughs> this is wow. before he invited him. <laughs> he brought the casserole. Like this is this is this, this is a white person fucking up the Juneteenth uh <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that's what this shit that is. That looks like it hurts. <laughs> you could tell he was practicing it though. To the left, yeah, yeah. to the left. He, he, to the he's right. not as bad as I thought. He's still on point, 
but it's I mean, just his rhythm is off. Like he keeping up. He, he just off. I'm mean, out in the step. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the song. Like the song tells you all the steps. It's not that hard to keep up. True. I'm True. Be, I'm be I'm be honest with you. I do not like none of these songs. You know what I'm saying? Got, the the Kirby Shuffle, the Huffle Shuffle, the uh no, no, Malachi. I can't no, no. stand them all. I, I'm not even talking about that. Did he have Capri's on? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, he was uh, he wearing Capri's? He had jeans no. rolled up. They look like Capri's, but he the, he, he had jeans like he, 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 like flooding on bitches, like he was in the basement <laughs> in the flood or some shit. <laughs> oh, those are just rolled up stylish. Ugh, nah. Rolled up. Boy, kind of hot. What's that pump move he doing though? He, that's to the left, to the right. Not kick. Now he's walking it oh, by himself. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. All right, Tony. Now go ahead. You was disrespecting. <laughs> uh, you was disrespecting community songs. Go ahead. <laughs> what, what you say? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I'm not. A, I'm. You know, I, I tend to say something that. Uh, you don't like hustle. That's cool, man. Whatever. Fuck I don't. It. I don't like none of them, bro. I don't like none of them songs. And I'll be honest oh. with you. And every wow. time I'm at a final reunion, someone's always trying to convince. As a matter of fact, me my girl. She always trying to get, convince me to come out there. I'm like, no, I'm not going to the left, to the left, <laughs> to the right, to the right. I'm not doing this shit. I can't. Hey. I can't. Now fly. Okay. Yeah. Too, man. I'm not. I'm not doing hey. this shit, bro. I got it figured out. I got it figured out. It's not I that never, you don't like them. It's not that you don't like them. It's like it's that you don't you can't do them. That's what it is. I never like the hustle. Get frustrated <laughs> you know, trying to trying to learn it. I never I can, do that. I can do them if I put my mind to them, but maybe you want to something. <laughs> I, I, I I just don't you know and and you know what I mean and that's just like uh <laughs> I'm gonna give you a tip. I'm gonna give you a tip. The key the key what? is to not be to not be embarrassed initially. You gotta just listen to the music while you out in public. Let them be let it be embarrassed for that first time. You gonna you gonna mess up a little bit, but you're gonna eventually get it. So that next party you go to, you be like, oh man, where you learn that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was at this other party. You don't even gotta say all that. At that point, you know it though. Go ahead, Jake. I just wanna say, you said if you put your mind to it, ain't really that much to put your mind to. Just follow the direction. <laughs> I just don't wanna do it, okay? I just don't wanna do it. It's too much for TV. It's too much for TV. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we, we're going to try something new. We're going to hit you with some dynamic. This is called, this is a new segment we just pulled out. It's called Quick Hits. Quick Hits. And um, we're, we're going to start off like this, uh, where we talk about a, a potential, uh, uh, a certain subject matter. And we're going to give our quick hits about it. All right. So, you ready, Dan? I'm ready. All right, so we're going to go. Number one, Breonna Taylor. Um, as you all know, Breonna Taylor lost her life to uh, social injustice. Apparently, the police came into her house while they, her and her boyfriend was sleeping and um, open fired. I guess they was trying to serve her a, a warrant for a raid or something. I don't know. But um, all I know is... They end up killing her and they arrested her boyfriend because of the fact that, uh, you know, he started busting back at him in which he thought that they were uh, people trying to break in. Um, what's your thoughts, Dan? Yeah, it, it, it's a shame that that, that, that like this ha hasn't taken like a bunch of the bunch of the headlines too, because this one is just unbelievable. <laughs> the, uh, uh, the fact that they just walked into her house like that, plus plus that clip, 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 plus that clip that I, I just showed showed that like the cops came to her mom and just told them that, told 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 her that uh some something went wrong, and, and then and then he started to question the mom, and then they told her that 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 they killed her daughter. So, yeah, we got to raise like just just make sure that that we're constantly pushing to try to get these guys in jail too. Yeah, you know, we giving the same energy for George Floyd. Let's get the same energy for her and Ahmad. Uh, Jake, what do you think about this subject matter? <clears throat> I think that, um, first of all, yeah, um, I think it's some bullshit that the whole situation is, like, fuck that they just ran up in her shit and just, like, just, just busting and shit. And that, like, just that pissed me the fuck off. Like, some plan, like, like, you just, like, it just remind me of like the shit, like that shit they that like 
like that war on drugs shit that they was doing back in the day, like with like just come in, like not tearing up people's shit, tearing up people's houses. They'll like they'll tear up some like they'll tear up somebody's house because they think there's drugs there and they don't find no drugs there. It's like, oh okay, there's nothing here. We're going and, it, and then their whole crib is all fucked up and shit. This time they this time they took a life and it was like, oh we we oh we killed you, my bad, whatever. This is fucking like that shit just oh man, like Malachi, your thoughts. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, uh, flat out injustice. You know what I'm saying? It's simple as that. You know, they they wrongfully they wrongfully ran up in the crib. If somebody run up in your spot and you got the you got that toolie on you, you gonna bust back. That's just that's how you do. So the fact that they you 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 can't do that. You can't do that. It's the wrong people. Flat out. You know what I'm saying? And and they try to sweep it under the rug, but no, these need, these guys need to be held accountable for what they did. Period. And that's the that's on the whole department. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number two, we're going to the Democratic. And they can't take cloth, kneel down. Uh, get the <laughs> fuck out of here, bro. Uh, Malachi, let's start with you. What you think, bro? So I'm I'm a little bit different than y'all. I see where they I see I see what they trying to do, but that ain't how you do it. That's that's not the way to go. You know what I'm saying? Um y'all try to try to make it cool, try to be be get in. They they tried to force their invitation on the barbecue and it, and it didn't work out too good. So try again. Just try again. Jake, your thoughts, my brother. Malachi, we all see what they trying to do. Fuck these motherfuckers, man. Like, are you serious, man? Kente cloths? Like, 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 come on. Like, you kneeling with Kente cloths. Like, 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 what why what took you so long to like like why are you kneeling now? We don't need you to kneel. We need you to change shit. Like, why? Why are you? And then what, the Kente claws, like, oh, 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 shit. They, they with us. They got Kente claws. Like, what? You, y'all, you thought? Like, I would have rather seen wear them. I rather rather seen them wear a Fubu or some shit. <laughs> or, <Fubu. laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, my man. or Fat Farm. They gonna wear a Fubu next. Fat Farm. What's the chick name in the front? Uh, let, that's, uh, that's Camilla, Camilla Harris. Kamala no, Harris, I believe. No, no, Kamala Harris. Harris. Oh, that's Pelosi. Oh shit, I thought it was Kamala Harris. Harris. Hey, what's she the gonna, like? Yeah, she gonna fuck around and wear like some apple bottom jeans next or some shit, man, or some dumb <laughs> shit, like for real. Like what the yeah, fuck? Uh, I don't okay, know. uh, da- Daniel, your thoughts on it, my brother? Yeah, man, I, I am hurt because it's like most of the time, like I, I, I am the type type of person that constantly tells folks to to like go out and vote and all that. But if the folks you vote for do do this shit and not pass laws, then it's like yeah, y'all making me look dumb now. Yeah, you got a point. Yeah, man. my my my, th- my thoughts on this is first of all, they own a fucking dec- uh, dec- uh, what did I what did I call it? Uh, Democratic cons, you know what I'm saying? Decepticon tip. And then I like how they strategically got the photo op and they got George Floyd in the corner. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. You know what I mean? This is too much for TV. You know what I mean? They're trying to do the Wakanda picture. It's not working. No, I don't like it. Uh, our next one is uh, number three, Oprah and the Super Friends primetime special. A push for the Democratic push. You know what I'm saying? For rich black people. Uh, is she out of touch, Daniel? What's your thoughts? Yeah, yes. Next, next question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Malachi, what you think? Um, so I, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting like weird about this whole Democratic and Republican thing. Period. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I've been looking more into the Green Party. Uh, I w- at the rally I was at, this woman approached, approached me about the Green Party and had me thinking. You know what I'm saying? I think Democratic Republican, it's all the same thing. You know what I'm saying? They, I, that's what I feel like. All right, Jake, your thoughts, my brother. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with Oprah. No, I, I don't. Like, I, I, I don't. Like, she. She she hasn't been for black. She hasn't been representing black people and how and how long I don't know how long. Like uh, every time I see her on shows, mostly like white women. She catering to some like some white people issues or some shit. She 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 shits on hip hop all the time, and like and the only hip hop artist she like really respects is the ones with money, like Jay Z or whatever. I just don't I, I don't fuck with Will Oprah. Smith. Like, she love Will Smith. You said what? Of course, you love Will Smith too. Of course, you love Will Smith. Like I, I don't, I don't like, I, I don't care about anything Oprah does. She just, 
she she just I just feel like she just find ways to exploit things and like uh make and make her money and shit like that and like make her more popular. I, I, I agree with you totally, my brother. My thoughts on Oprah before we go to the next one is she's a leech for the uh community. Her uh, Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, they time is up. Her and Gail, they can eat a dick and keep it moving. Um, uh, our next one, number four, Trump. Uh, he tweets that a 75 year old man is uh is part of a terrorist organization, Atifa. You know what I mean? I could be saying it right or wrong, Atifa. And um, he staged and botched his uh fall down situation by the police. Your thoughts on this, my guy? Yeah. So um, first of all, how old is Trump? Because he about the same age, like. <laughs> And, yeah, yeah. and like I don't know his date of birth, but I'm pretty sure he's really close to that man's age. So if that was him being pushed in the streets, he would not like that. Come on now. Huh? You gotta do better. I'm surprised nobody pushed him when he tried to do that horrible uh photo op in front of that church. Dan, man, your thoughts. Couldn't. They got tear gassed. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Dan, your thoughts. And we saw the clip, Trump. Like you can't lie to us. Like we saw it on the same app you you put this out on. Like the guy, <laughs> that, it was an old guy that, that you tried to give y'all back is a uh, back y'all um, the mask, and y'all just pushed him down. Like the, like the film don't lie. <laughs> so, like this is just blatant at this point. Uh, yeah, and he he he. He fell so slow that you knew it was real. Jake, your thoughts? Uh, Trump, you a piece of shit. Um, and why? Why are they calling Antifa uh, or the anti-fascist uh, organization? Why are they calling them terrorist terrorist organization? And we still got the KKK out here um, ter- terrorizing the nation. Like, don't like, like, like. I don't know any 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 powerful racist white person. Uh, saying, call, accusing, uh, accusing uh, certain organizations of being terrorist organizations. Like this country is a terrorist country. It was built on terrorism. This country was built on terrorism. Like there's so many hypocrisies that people, like people, be trying to throw at us and shit, and it's bullshit. And I'm, I'm tired of it. Um, motherfucker, Trump, he could eat a dick along with Oprah and Gail too. <clears throat> I understand. I, I totally agree with you, my brother. We're going to move to uh, number six. Hey, uh, Jake kind of answer number five. Uh, We're going to move to number six with Armand Aubrey update. Anybody got an update? Dan, hit me with it. Yes. Yeah, so this this is a tweet that I, I found about it uh, just, just again uh, when the cops came to his mom and told him about told, 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 told him about uh, her son uh, death. They said they said that he, he he was shot and killed inside a house as he was trying to rob it, which is just um, which is that's that's so ridiculous, so bad. bro. That's heartbreaking. So ridiculous. It's, so, it's so heartbreaking. Like 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 the fact that they were just about to like like, like get they were just about to like 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 just call this a death and just move on too. Like how many times have, have they done done this inside that state and just across uh, like across this uh. Just, just across the states, man. My, my thoughts. My thoughts. I was watching the news, and they was saying uh, at the, uh, I believe, at the preliminary, how one of the officers that came and he spoke to one of the um, uh, perpetrators. He's like, "Yeah, uh, we got this nigga," or something along the lines of that. You know what I mean? So it, it gives you an ideology that they hunted this man down like he was a deer. You know what I'm saying? And they uh, killed him yeah. off. I mean, yeah. that's just, it's horrible, bro. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, Jake, this, this, this was clearly the clan. Like, this was clearly the KKK. <laughs> like, no question and about they, it. And, and they stood behind that badge. Jake, your thoughts on it, brother? <laughs> Man. Uh. Go to go to the next person, man. <laughs> I'm starting to get angry. <laughs> <laughs> Malachi, yeah. your thoughts? Yeah, so um, like Breonna Taylor, now this is this is blatant injustice. You know what I'm saying? It's at a different level. It's it's right here in our face at this at the same time of George Floyd. And just like you said, Tony, it's like it's like we're being targeted out. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's specific. No matter what you do, if I can catch you slipping, that's how they see it. If I can catch you slipping and an opportunity for me to me to take your life, that's how we're gonna do it. And it's and it's gotta stop. It's it's gotta stop. And we need justice. I don't care about they 
they came out with that. We need to stay on their neck about this, just like they stay on our. Yep. I'm glad you mentioned that, my brother. You speaking about justice. I want to go to number seven. Karen gets slapped. The Karen of the week, apparently. Karen of the week. Yes. Well, Malachi. What? What just? Oh, okay. This whole world white people are not from this country. Don't serve her. Yeah, you do not serve her. Don't serve her racism. You don't tell. No, 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 no,
Now, these riots so happen to be at my same block on Six Mile in McNichols, right on that corner, brother. The, the you fuck? in the hood? What you doing in the hood, bro? Right that's, in the that's hood. The same street, Smack bro. dab that's, in the middle of the hood. Six Mile in McNichols. Meet me there that's tomorrow. The same, that's the same street. Oh, Excuse same me, street. brother. That's the same Silence. Street, Silence. I don't want no violence unless you are one of them. Now, back to my conspiracy. <laughs> what? Now, this riot that they were having just so happened to rile up the people in such a manner that they needed to have snacks at this riot, at this peaceful protest. And these snacks was cutting into my particular profit, my brother. So I know that this whole thing is just a grand scheme of things to stop the conspiracy brother himself specifically to drink to get his down so I can't do my rhymes and my conspiracies. See, if they were oh, selling these snacks on my block, I would have made money that week enough to be my family. It's all a part of the plan to keep the black man down. So somebody else sold some stuff on your block, and that's a and you saying that they set you up? I knew you could see these voices as well, my brother. <laughs> I'm just trying to follow what you're saying. I have no you, clue. You got it brother. down packed like a Cadillac with four flats, my brother. <laughs> you, 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 uh, look, right. bro. Yeah, you he, bro. Get, he getting negative two bean pies on this one from me, bro. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, one loose bag of grapes for food. Yo, stop, stop playing with you. You're not supposed with to take your face. Real, I, I visualize these no, lies no, that they telling no, us, brother. No, Keep your real face, eyes face. open I, I, if you can visualize these schemes that they playing on your mind, brother. Oh, you my get, God. Did you get that, that shiggy from them uh, Democrats, motherfucker? Excuse me, brother. <laughs> Don't disrespect or I have to blow the whistle like a ref with a tech, my brother. What? <laughs> Neg negative 50. Yo, yo. Ne negative 50 koofies for you. It's a wrap. We done. We done. All right, bro. Disrespect, Thank brother. See, Thank you, you guys will never have a real eyes on your third eye. You only have two. Okay. That's enough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. That's conspiracy, brother, ladies and gentlemen. Conspiracy, brother. He, he is back. And um, I just want to, hey, Jake, can we go to the uh, to the chat? Let's oh, see yeah, what's yeah, popping yeah. over in the chat, my brother. Let's see what's popping in the chat. Uh, let's see. We got uh, we got the homie Brian Titus. What up, though, man? He said. Uh, he said. He said. Uh, what did he say on here? He said. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Have you guys ever discussed the African American conservatives and their support for Trump? Yet yeah, most of them are angry about what happened to Mr. Floyd. I can't. Uh, I can't see how they could be doing both. It's like, nah, we haven't discussed that. Maybe we uh maybe we should discuss about the, that. You talk about the coons that support Trump. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm gonna flat out say it. They coons, you know what I mean? And I, yeah. I don't I don't care what you say, there's no way equivocal that you could support somebody that stews up hate, period. You coon, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? We also got Charlie Matt. Uh what up, Charlie? What up? The Matt's the supporters of what's up, Matt? Uh Charlie Matt, uh yeah, he says Right on, right. Why don't you pass the legislation? I think he's referring to the uh, the Democrats and shit posing that photo. Why you wearing that fucking kente cloth instead of like passing laws and shit? We don't care what you wear and shit. And uh, also shout out to Audra, Audra Jance. She uh, what's up, Audra? That's the homie. Yeah, she ain't saying nothing in the chat, but she I saw that she joined. And she also a supporter of the show, so we appreciate her. You know what I'm uh, saying? I got something to hear. I got something from her in here. She said, I hope that Gail over Trump, Will Smith, Dick Eaton party happens. I'm putting it out there like the secret. You know what I mean? That's what I got. All right, word. That's dope. That's dope. Um, Dan, you got anything before we head to the um we got anything before we head to the wrap it up? Let me see. Let me see. Looking through the comments. Uh, we got our comment from Tony saying, Tony, you, Tony, you can do it. Put your back into it. Oh, wow. That's, oh, my. That's, that's, no. that's the time. I don't know. <laughs> You're slide dancing, right? Shout out to Tony. Oh, he put the line dancing. Okay. Yeah, right. like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. That's what's up. That's what's oh, up. That's it. You can do it. Put your ass into it. 
<laughs> Malachi, do you have anything in the chat, my brother? Yeah, yeah I do. Thank actually, you for uh, returning too. Yes, thank oh, you. Oh yeah, no problem, man. I had to, I had to uh, take a break real quick, but um, yeah, uh, I got Trey B. Davis, and uh, on YouTube he Trevi. says, "Ha ha, huh?" Trevi. Trevi. I thought so. My bad, Trevi. <laughs> Trevi Davis. He says, "Ha ha." I like how the camera guy said. Camera guy says, "Nah, nah, nah." <laughs> then he put a dollar sign. Thanks for Trevi. Trevi Davis for rocking with us. Okay, thank you. That's what's up. That's all I got from um. Uh, you two, well, we're gonna oh, move straight. Oh, my bad. Also, go, go ahead, Jake. Also, I also want to send a shout out to uh, Caitlin Shea, another supporter of our show. She, uh, yeah. like, uh, she be like uh, reposting our shit on Instagram and Instagram story. And uh, yeah. she, she, uh, last one she said is, is uh, specifically said, uh, these guys' show is, is my new TGIF. So, we appreciate wow. that. Thank you. That's we definitely up. appreciate that. That's dope. We better than um, family matters. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> right. We do got yeah. we do got um actually hip in Detroit on Instagram. They be they be showing us man love as well. Uh yeah. showing uh reposting our stuff. Um you got Julia Schro Schroeder on Instagram. Schroeder. She shared our she, huh? Yeah. yeah, Schroeder. That's her last name. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Schroeder, yeah. She she uh shared us on Instagram. Patty shares us a lot on Instagram. Um, and then Carlos Parsi. He shared this on Instagram as well. So we're getting, we getting a lot of love from a lot of different places. Thank we want to say thank you all. Thank you all. You know what I'm saying? It, it's definitely appreciated, man. Like, um, we, we do this because it's something we enjoy doing. And also, we just want to bring you a uh, real dope conversation and um, real dope entertainment, too. You know what I'm saying? Because we are for black improvisers. That's, you know, and, you know, we miss being face to face doing the work. But if we can come from this angle and this avenue, we're going to do it. With that being said, we're going to hit the wrap it up. Damn, my man, with the plan, All let's right. go. I got three tweets for, for this week's wrap it up. There's the first one. This is us at NASCAR this week. Well, not us, because I know Tony's not doing it. <laughs> 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 Tony is not enjoying this at all. Tony, Tony is the fight. You know, you know, you know what, man. You know what? I'm, 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 you know, I'm gonna say this, and I, I'm gonna say this. You know, no, we, no, no, we, no, we, we, we get an inch, and we take a fucking mile. <laughs> I, we ain't never been in no fucking NASCAR, and we ain't going to no NASCAR. I don't know, so, no, I, I've been to the Bell Isle Grand Prix before. I, I, I went, I walked in, and, and it was too sunny, and I walked out. <laughs> but, but, but I went. <laughs> what the fuck? That, that's, just, that's just too much. Like, come on, man. Seriously, right, we, well, we just ain't doing it. The uh, one thing, like, wait, like, just just cause they just cause they took the Confederate flag down, no me they ain't racist no more. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here, dog. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, but like, I, I, like, I tell you what, if we start going to these to these events, they'll shut the whole thing down. Yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's a we we do a victory lap when we don't need to fucking do a victory lap. Right <laughs> now is not the time for a fucking victory lap. No, but that's think about it. Though. Think think about it. If, what if we start supporting uh, NASCAR like we support the NBA? They probably change the whole league. <laughs> they wouldn't even want to race no more. <laughs> like, Niggas everybody are doing donuts for no reason. Just not the same. Right, right. Just not the same, Bob. It's not the same. It's going to be a brother. It's going to be. There's gonna be an Allen Iverson of the NASCAR doing all type of new moves and shit in the car and shit. Imagine what you see that nigga? He crossed the car over. Why is he doing this shit? Like, what the fuck? Imagine if it was a Dennis Rahman in NASCAR where he made his car purple and shit. You know what I'm saying? He he had a a, a, a donut, uh he had a, a a tire on the back of the uh, car. You know what I mean? Right. Like, yo, you're not even you. You don't even be doing that. You know, right. but you do it. You know, right. you got the two the two pocket NASCAR. <laughs> this his car got a nose ring on it. <laughs> that nigga broke that car's ankles. I didn't even know he had ankles. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, you know offhand what they're doing. Stupid shit. Everybody will be playing 
a bunch of fucking songs and it's not unison, they'll, right. they'll take out the back and they have some, uh, some speakers in the back of the car. Let, let's, mean, keep so, real. Let, let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. If 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 black people do NASCAR, they ain't gonna race. They're just gonna park on the grass and talk shit. That's all that's going on. That's all they do. They do it for the <laughs> so, hey, hey we had a, we had a we had a radio blasting. You got this. You got the uh, extra speakers on that boy. Like it's gonna be too heavy to race. I don't care. I need my sound. Describing NASCAR right now, <laughs> like everything you described is all what the fans do there. What? What? Are you like, serious? We talking, about, we talking about the drivers. We talking oh, about they uh, have yeah. black drivers. <laughs> No, I'm talking about if the, there won't be no races. There'll be there won't be any races. There'll be uh uh, uh there'll be parked on grass and shit. Hey, <laughs> Nothing. Hey, you know, hey, you know hey, how they you know how they had a guy that in the back. Yeah, you know yeah. how they win, right? They win it and they do the champagne. Yeah. There'll be a bunch, a bunch of fucking Hennessy they'll be blowing <laughs> up, you know, doing all the dumb shit. Like, come on, man. Right. They everybody else got cigars, they got backwoods <laughs> stuff for grams. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what the fuck is this shit right here? <laughs> oh man, hell no! I'm looking at the sign. This, this, this is a new game. All right, here we go. Are you serious? Not me. <laughs> hell, yeah, they better no. cut the video off. <laughs> that Yo, boy. that dog. That dog was, whoa, man. Like what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What? <laughs> what? 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 Who, who plays a game a to get to turn that video off? Because <laughs> shit got real. What the is fuck? this yeah. what white people do? Is this what you white people do? I no, no, no. Black people do not do this. Like, have, no, have, have you ever watched? Have you ever no, watched no, cops? Because they always send the fucking dog after the uh, black person in cops, and Man. they be hauling ass too. Right, they, they that's that's the thing. They 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 want to experience what we feel like when we get chased by a dog. That's not what you want to yeah. do. That's no, no, no. Thing. That's not. You see that dog at the end start slowing down. That means they're not going to experience getting bit by that goddamn dog. They not. You know what I mean? No, nah, that dog. I that dog bit something. That's why they cut the video off. I don't even want to be the chick that let the dog loose. <laughs> she looked too wild. Facts. You know? Facts. He could have been on her head. Yo, that dog is healthy, bro. That dog you couldn't do this in the hood. Out. So, you that, couldn't do this that in the hood. Somebody down, down, bro. <laughs> so, yo, that dog looks like he been taking steroids when he was running, bro. I'm he just was like it out. strongly striding, like right, <laughs> just like like a little bull running, literally, like <laughs> a mini bull. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he looked like, bro. Right. My last one is a helpful message from some guy in the White House. Oh, shit. Back three million new jobs, lower unemployment rate, furloughed temporary layoffs, going back to work, green shoots popping up everywhere, stocks are soaring, POTUS policies are working. Stay with the winners, Trump and Pence and me. The best is yet to come. Like who is he? Who is he? <laughs> I don't Never know. Oh, he, part of, uh, he part of the one percent. That's who he is, and it's probably the only picture you'll see of him too. You know what I mean? <laughs> Got no, no name on the video either. Like yeah, no caption. He, he, America's coming yeah, back. He, he is America. It just yeah. says the White House. It's all says the White House. <laughs> He's America. That's his name. America. America's coming back. Mister <laughs> America. Right, yeah, he's the guy man. behind the guy behind the guy. Right, you know right. Mean? He's the real person that's really running things. Like he came to speak. He, he's a <laughs> he's he, he Illuminati's cousin. That's who he yeah, is. The, the way he's selling this, he almost selling it like Colonel uh Colonel Sanders trying to get you to get some chicken. Yeah, I'll have honey on it. Yeah. I'll bet you. <laughs> yeah. He kind of talking to me like a like a wrestling promoter, kind of <laughs> like <laughs> That's what Bit he is. I swear. Yeah, Bit yeah, yeah. Man. He a ra- wow. he a racist wrestling promoter. <laughs> wow. Be there now him. at Monday Night Raw. Come on now, we want you to. Hey, Mr. Man is actually fucked up himself. He like he's worse than Trump. Three 
<laughs> you know, new jobs. I can see that. Mr. McMahon so tried to act like he was down with us this whole time. He never was. Yo, fuck all of them. You know what I mean? That's that's where we at. This this is it, Dan. That was the last one. That's, that's it. I'm all set, guys. That's it. Well, I want to say, ladies and gentlemen, we have survived our eighth show. You know what I'm saying? And um, I want to thank everybody that's a part of it. Uh, Mask Off Dan, thank you, my brother. Mask Off Malachi, thank you, my brother. Mask Off Jake, uh, thank you, my brother. You gentlemen have any last words before we get up out of here? Go ahead, Dan. That's it. No, guys. I'll see y'all next week. Malachi. Oh. Yeah, thanks for everybody rocking with us. Continue to rock with us. We're going to continue to rock with y'all. It's Malachi Lee and the place to be. Wow. Uh, Jake, go ahead, my brother. I didn't know yeah. we started branding this, these this, this is the shirt that uh we do a shout out. Miss Sosha uh did, made. It's called uh, you know what I'm saying? Support but that it's all crooked. Support black lives, support black respiration, support black liberation. You know what I'm saying? The reason I ain't wearing a shirt is because my dumb ass ordered a uh, XL when I really need a 2X, but it's gonna be um <laughs> Gonna be some motivation to lose weight. <laughs> there you go. And I lost 10 pounds and, I, and I've lost uh 12 pounds. So I'm hey, getting there. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. You know, you must that's what's up. Salute. Shout out Salute. to everybody that's been rocking with us. Like Malachi said, man, you guys are fantastic. We love to chat. That's on YouTube. That's on um Facebook. Facebook. That's on uh what There's else we Twitch on? We on Twitch. Twitter. Twitch. Shout out to Twitch, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Periscope. Everybody who's yeah. rocking out on us on those uh, platforms, we thank you. Uh, also, we'll see you next episode, which is uh, episode 9 and um, Friday at 9 p.m. So with that being said, peace, love. We out of here. Mask off. We out. Mm -hmm.